So welcome to our Cognos tutorial again and today we will get started with the Framework Manager. So to start Framework Manager what you do is that you select Cognos, um, so what, what version we have is Cognos 8 and you select Framework Manager. So when you select that you get this one. So first you click on this one to create a new project. So let's say we'll create our project name as uh, test. and then we call our project name here as test. So here you give the name of the project and here you give the location of the uh, the location of the uh, uh, the folder name. Now in case the folder doesn't exist you know Cognos creates one. So, so once you click that it will create the project means it will create a set of files and it will create you know it will do the initialization part and then we will uh, get started with the creating the model. So I think we have some issues. I think uh, we got I got logged out. So let's uh, let me restart the framework manager. Okay. So first thing is to once you get connected with the framework manager the first thing is you have to connect your database and then you will uh, get the all the information extracted from the uh, the database so so let's select the data source and then we say next I think we have, uh, I think my session got uh, timed out, so I probably have to restart it. So let me restart the framework manager. So I started the framework manager again and let me create a, a new project. So we say test one. Oops click something by mistake okay so we call it let's say test one and we say okay so here you choose the uh, language so English is our default language uh, so and then we select the data source. Now here you have to create a new data source because I don't have an existing one. So here it'll this is a wizard which will walk you through a set of steps to create a new data source. So here again just to repeat what we are trying to do we are trying to connect to our SQL Server database and and get started. So we say test one and say next and here you choose SQL Server native client for a SQL Server database. Now, depending on your situation you may have to choose a uh, different uh, uh, you know if you are for Oracle then you probably would choose Oracle client and then you can choose use the default gateway and then you can select next and then here you choose your um, your server name and the database name. So, in our particular case, we have uh, I think our server name is something like Dev SQL. Uh, or since it's local, so the database is in the local box. So we choose local host, and we choose database name. Our database name is test, or I think it's test one. Let me check. So I'm checking the database name to verify. So our database is test1. So we choose test1. And then other options you can leave them default. Uh, in particular here you choose no authentication. I think yeah, no, yeah, it's IBM Cognos 8 service credentials. 
think that's what it is. So and then you can click test connection and then you test. So this will verify that whether you can connect to the database successfully. So it's still testing. Sometimes in many little uh, time, so it says succeeded. So that means our test went through fine. So now let's try to. Now in this you don't have to really select anything. You just do finish. So it will connect your. So here you have been able to connect the data source fine. So the next, the next step would be to connect to the database using that data source and then choose the tables. So now it shows that we have connected to the database which is test one and then we we have our tables under DBO which I showed you the last time and we select the tables which we need. So we select all the four tables. Now as you see it has other options called views, synonyms and uh, depending on a situation you may have to use them. So for example if you have some uh, probably views you can uh, uh, for which your reports are based on you can select them and then you do next and then in our particular case uh, we don't want to import depending on a situation you may import or may not import the primary or foreign keys so one of the strategies sometimes people do is that they define they don't import any uh, keys from the database they define all the relations within the um, within a Cognos or within the framework manager. So anyway we don't have any keys defined so it doesn't matter in our case. So in this particular case uh, it is now importing the uh, the Cognos uh, metadata structure. Okay so it has imported now it has uh, you know we have created a data source as you see here it has test one. Now we have also created the our uh, basic model. So as you see here, we have got um, you know different what you call query subjects. So in our in Cognos, the tables are called query subjects, which is a typical symbol uh, like this, as you see here. And if you see, these are also the uh, things what is called. So query subjects has this sort of icon. Query item, which is actually essentially a column is of this item. And then there is this called uh, data source. So let me choose, uh, so this is a data source. Now there are other, uh, you know, there are other different uh, types. So for example, as you see there is a little L here. I'm not sure if uh, the screen is uh, magnified enough so that you can identify but here if you see this is a L. L is actually stands for measure. So um, so for example and we'll, we'll get to those concepts later on but for example your agent ID as you see it's you know it's called a fact now by default it has assumed a fact. Now sometimes Cognos does that if it sees a number you know the default data type as I'm sorry if it is a data type as number it will show fact but it is in our particular case, this is you know, this is an identifier. Now you may be wondering what what are these identifier facts and all this. Now if you remember from our first video, we had you know we had our cells agent table connected with the cells table. So our facts are actually the cells data, which is the volume. I'm sorry, the cells amount, the date, and etc. Now. If the sales table is connected with the agent table with the agent ID column, then agent ID becomes an identifier. The name is an attribute. The region ID is again an identifier. So you may have to change these uh, things. Now manager ID is again an identifier. See the reason Cognos interpret this as facts because it just went by the column type. So if it says it's a it's a number, then it by default sometimes it puts a this thing uh, puts uh, puts a fact. So let's go to the sales table. 
okay so sales table we have ID which is a um, again identifier so let's fix that so I'll continue with the next video because the 